six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have a comparison video. It's about the tool hitch route on the K1, K1 Max series and these are the ones that we have tried. This comes with the units itself and it's a fairly basic design but there is a lot of room for improvement. That's why we have tried this model here which has a front bit that with anything you want you can put it on the front if you would like or a Konomi. So it's a really nice design and this was working really well and still is working well but here on the front it's like when you compare it to the original model there is well the angle is different it's bigger in the front and there is no side coolings which is in my opinion fine if it cools well this does cool well but it's a bit heavy um because all these sides here like on this one is like there are like holes in there but it's more like for ventilation than to uh, get like less weight on it so that's why maybe this could have been improved as well. We printed this one in PETG carbon fiber and it's a nice sturdy design, but in my opinion, it's a bit too heavy. So we can compare the weights on all of these as well. Um, but so first, we're just going to show you what uh, improvement on this could be. It's the front. So the cooling solution where it's pushing the air inside here. Let me try to show you guys. So here, it goes in and has one hole, so it doesn't separate anything at all. It's just a simple basic design as well, but it works. It has been working well on my setup and I was fairly happy with this. So, and this one. There she is. It's special, isn't it? If you look at it, it's like a skeleton. There is not much going on here, but in the front, you can see that the design is, it has two holes instead of one and it's broader. So when you could look here, you can see how much broader it is. So it's go going all the way to the sides here on this one. And because it has like two holes, it's been separated by on the top bit here. This is a better print than I've done and it didn't come out really nice, not really clean. Then we reprint it and we put it on the printer. So we're gonna compare all the print cooling systems without the auxiliary fan. You won't be able to compare it with the auxiliary fan. That's why we turned off the auxiliary fan. We did an overhang test on these two because you guys know what kind of overhang you get from the stock tool head. So we're not going to test this one, but we're gonna just compare these two, which are improvement on the original one. The designer of this TBK maker, AKA Manta from the movie Aquaman, he has designed this setup. And in my opinion, it's really like something I wanted to try. It's, it just looks cool. In my opinion, you can just see through it. And because it's so minimalistic, it's also weights nothing. It's, we have to compare this to this one as well. I can feel that it is much more, but we're going to put it on a scale to see how much this one makes more. Let's weight all these three so we can see how much of a weight reduction we can get by setting up this latest model of the shroud. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just five dollars. Get an instant quote and join our online community at pcbway.com. So let's first try out the original fun duct. We play, we'll try to place it right in the middle. It's 30.45 grams which is fairly heavy. Yes it does make sense to improve on this so that the weight reduction when you are printing really fast and you want as minimalistic as possible resonances this plays a role guys so that's why we come out or people come out with these improvements and also better looks and that's when you get better results of printing so let's try the one that we had installed on the k1 max so let's put this on this is 24.20 24.30 but with this in front bit that is like with Konomi and everything, when we put this on there as well, it's even heavier. It's 34.25. But if we take this off, this is like an extra, it becomes 24.34, which is less than the original trout. Okay, now let's go to the one, there she is. which is like a skeleton look. And I'm really, I'm sure this is going to be, oh, let's reset this because it was going a bit crazy there. So let's try the skeleton one. 
13.18 grams. This is, okay, it's a little bit around that, 13.21 grams, which is a really nice improvement on the original and also on the uh, second version that we had before. So I think this is really nice. 13 grams, 13.21 grams is almost next to nothing. So this is really a nice improvement. I really like. And if this performs better or even equal to this one, we have a winner. So let's try to print out these overhang prints so we can determine whether this is worth downloading and installing on your system or not. So as you guys could see, we printed these two overhang tests and we tried with the version before, which is this one. It didn't fail, it's still okay. It is nice, so we'll, as long as it doesn't fail, it's kind of okay. And then we did the same one with the skeleton, newest version. This is like uh, by TVK Maker. And this one came out even better. So yes, let's try and look at the corresponding X and Y axis, like I'll just put them at the same side here. Uh, this is Y and Y. So let's start off with this one. So as you guys can see, th there was a, almost a failure here. I think it's even skipped layer. I don't know what happened there, but th that this is a failure. So it's not even at the, at the end, it's where it's not supposed to have a failure. And also on the other side. So on the second overhang here, same, actually around the same level, it had the same thing again. If you look carefully, it did finish up until the end. All of them are finished up, and this one is actually pretty clean. This one came up really clean, and this one as well. It's pretty clean. I, I, I'm okay with this kind of, but these are failures in my opinion, and I wish they didn't happen. But you see that on this side, it's the X side. On the right side, it happened on both sides. The X axis here on the right side, so the Y here on the back, and also on the right side here, it happened, there is a failure point. Let's look at this uh, skeleton one. And yes, there is no failure points. I'll just try to zoom in here. So 
As you guys can see, it finished up until the end without any failure points. Really nice. Some of them are better than the others. And this is also really fine. And I think this is the least finest one. This stick sticks out a little bit. This is over cooling. Airflow pushes this. It had a little bit of difficulty making these uh, bridges. That wasn't a problem on these sides because the airflow is going this side and here either and here neither. So in, in general, if we dial down the airflow, then I think this would have been perfect as well. But this is a really nice result, in my opinion. I really like this design over this one now. This one was my favorite over the original trout. And now this one is my favorite. And you can have this also on a less skeleton look like. And it's also on the description below. You can download both of them, try them both out. Uh, but I like this one better. Why? It's completely almost see-through. I like special things. I like extraordinary stuff. So yeah, this is going to be the one that I'm going to use. And also, at the same time, this will weight less than the other model. I hope you have understand and maybe you want to try this one out as well. And maybe you have this one. This one will be also in the description below. If you want to use a Konomi, for example, it's a nice solution as well. Yeah, I'm not saying this one is bad. This one is just better. That's what I mean. So if you don't care about the looks of your shroud, go for this. <laughs> I mean, I would go for this because I don't use a Konomi. And yeah, its channel logo was a nice thing to have there. But yeah, we can get that aside and then we can use this one instead for now. This will most likely be the last video for now about the K1 uh, series because as you guys know, there's going to be a K2, a K2 Plus uh, coming out and it's going to be most likely uh, reviewed, being put on the channel and we are really excited about the multi-material system that Creality is coming out with. We're more excited if it's an open source project because if it's an open source, everyone can use it. Like any printer that is clipper based can use it with probably a little bit of modification on the tool head. I hope you guys liked this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Bye.